All right, welcome back to my Man United career mode here on FIFA 19. And today we've got two games coming up against Stoke City and Arsenal, our biggest rival. So that should be a bit of fun today. You know, we are, I think, nine points back. We can just get down to three and Spurs still have to play against Man City. So good news there. Hopefully we'll get, you know, a pretty solid game. Two wins today. Who knows what happens the last two games of the season. But anyway, let's crack into it. All right, here is the side for our first game here against Stoke City. Going with the 4 3 3. A little bit different than one formation to Hay and Goal, though. Speaking for itself, Fernandez by Screenyard Mooney at the back. Milankovic, Savage, Asensio, and Pogba midfield. And then up top, we got Martial, Griezmann, and Mbappe taking no chances this start of the season. Welcome to you all. To so here we are, Premier League FC action State here today, Italian. coming up from well, Stoke as we take on Stoke City. One out-and-out out attacker in the line. Griezmann lays in a streaking Mbappe here. Mbappe's lining it up. Mbappe's going to go for it. It's a great save by Butland. Griezmann into a chance. Finds Anthony Martial. And Martial does not miss from there. He is just too good, too slick, and too fast. Brilliant play from Griezmann. Just lays it off. And then Martial just absolutely puts that Stoke defender into the ground. Left foot finesse type finish. Butland never getting close to that. And that's the first goal. It's the key one. Puts us in control here. Perfect timing. Oh my god. Falling asleep at the wheel. And just the reaction from De Gea on the ground there is just the exact reaction I've just had. They both Hudson and Doy? That's such a random buy by. I just, I completely fall asleep here. I've just fallen asleep at the wheel. Why he misses it. De Gea just, oh, should be doing better here, De Gea. I think he's got to get a foot in that, really. Let's have a look again. Oh, he should be getting a foot in that, or at least a paw. Come on, De Gea. That's a poor goal to concede. That's just, we're just gifting goals up. It's been our problem all season. Their defense just isn't good enough. Kovic Savage lays out to Griezmann. Lays out to Martial. Doesn't quite work out. Martial. Oh, the pass was there open for Milankovic Savage if he saw it, but doesn't. That's a big mistake there. I feel like that could potentially be a goal or a good chance miss, but we're still alive here. Milankovic Savage lays it off for. Oh, come on. You can't do that, ref. Oh, he's offside, is he? Well, that concludes that attack. There it is, half time here, 1-1, one, one. not a brilliant half, but not a terrible half either. I mean, just one lapse of concentration just does, and does a bit of brilliant play, so unfortunate, but still got 45 minutes to correct it. Griezmann lays it off for Milkovic Savage, here's a chance inside to Griezmann. Griezmann flicks it on, and it's the right foot, the weaker foot of Griezmann. And he just cannot find the back of the net there. I feel like he... Ooh, I think Button had it covered, even if it is inside the post. But chances like them, we need to be burying. Mbappe has a chance here to find something. Wants Martial into space. Martial into space. Turns the corner. That is brilliant from Martial. That is exactly what we want. What a player. Mbappe, beautiful hold up. I mean, Marcel, it's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Lovely touch, lovely control. Leaves the Stoke City defender back in Manchester. Uh, Butlin is just, yep, yeah, left to make it look like you know, he had a chance to save it. Brilliant goal, 2-1 up now. Uh, hopefully now we can close this game out. Rashford lays it in for Pogba here. Game on the line. He laid off to Mbappe. Mbappe. Oh my goodness. Mbappe. Why did that not rustle the back of the net? There it is. Full time. 2 1 victory here. Wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. So, match facts for that game there. Four shots to R5 for Stoke. Two in target to R3. It really wasn't a type of a pretty game at all. It was quite a very defensive contest, but Martial had to be the man of the match. Absolutely dominating. Reason pretty solid performance by him. Anyone else that stood out? The back four was pretty solid as well. They didn't seem to make many mistakes, but um, pretty strong. Mbappe was very solid. Assist and anyone else? 
And that's it. Pretty solid game. Happy that result. That's what matters. Three points. All that matters. All right, here is the lineup for the Arsenal game here. Got a bit of a different change up here. Gone to bring to Lit and Shaw into the back four. Fred and Herrera come into the midfield and the top remains the same. Kind of played a little bit more, you know, a bit more cautious and hope we can try to catch Arsenal out on the counter a bit more. Well, back at Old Trafford today, this is the big game of the year. It is the, it is the rivalry. This is the rivalry game. Manchester United versus Arsenal. Keane versus Vieira. Fergie versus Wenger. Doesn't get better than this. Brad looks back behind for Pogba. Oh, come on, dude. Why? Where's your head at, mate? Like, is it in France or it Real Madrid or Juventus or... Because it definitely wasn't all traffic when he hit that ball. There it is, half time here, nil nil. And to be fair, I actually don't know what happened in the half. It was a very quiet half, I think. I'd have to look back at the highlights to figure out what the hell happened because, to be honest, I don't remember much, to be honest, and that's a bad thing. But I take that at first half. I tend to you know, wear Arsenal down in the second half, so hopefully, the second half, we'll get some action. Brad. Lays it in for Mbappe. Mbappe's done his man in nicely. Where's the support now? Pogba to Herrera. Herrera's got space, and that is how you finish. What a finish by Ander Herrera. Absolutely brilliant, and that is the Pogba play. That's why you put him in the game today. Not known for shooting, but we need him to. You can always rely on him. Mr. Clutch. Brilliant play here. Fred to Pogba. Pogba picks out Herrera. And Arsenal lose track of him in the defensive midfielder. Slots at him. Look at that. Herrera probably couldn't believe it. Left footed. And would you call that a toe poker? Way up. Curls into the back of the net. Doesn't matter. It's the goal we needed. We're up 1 0 against Arsenal. And the title is still on. Griezmann. Lovely bit of work here to get himself open. Griezmann can't find the space. It's unfortunate. Martial gets it back. Goals for Herrera. Herrera's feeling confident and Leno. No. Easy peasy for him. Too much. Too easy. Too telegraphed. Herrera. Picks out Fred. Picks out Mounier. It's a little bit of attack here. Arsenal starting to break down here. Ball into Pogba. Pogba's going to have a look. Oh, that would have been an absolute stormer from Pogba. I think the reaction, just how close that was, just couldn't curl into the top corner. Not a far away a chance at all. And here come the cavalry. There it is, full time. A 1-0 victory over the old enemy Arsenal. We'll take it. Not pretty, but the team, you know, Arsenal, obviously Arsenal want Spurs to win the title the way they're playing there today. They should just load us over and let us beat them 4-0, but for some reason, they put up their a brave fight, but it all comes down to what happens in the Man City Spurs game now. A match facts there. Eight shots to Arsenal, six. Both four on target. They had possession. I feel like they had a lot more possession in the first half. That's just that's just my opinion. But anyway, Herrera said it was fantastic. Fred was really solid. Pogba thought it was... I think Pogba and Herrera, both of them were brilliant today. I uh, the front strike force a bit weak today. Back four pretty solid. No real stupidity, which is, you know, what you need to win games. So, unfortunately, Spurs have beaten Manchester City. And just the one time you get the other Manchester team to do something... They decide to not turn up. So, unfortunately, I think that hands the title to Spurs, bearing a miracle. They are pretty much romping home. Who is their final game again? Let's have a look who they have. They do have Leicester. I, I can't see them losing that game. I think they're going to win that game with ease, unfortunately. So, barring us, you know, whacking in. We're behind on goal difference, which is a bit frustrating. But... We're only, down one, we're only down one goal, so we do need to put some huge goals in here, but it happens, you know. It's been a much better season, though. Ultimately, we've just slipped up one too many times, and hopefully next season, you know, we can win the Champions League and the Premier League at the same time, because that's the goal. We're going to make a few team changes. There's, there's, there's just players that, like, I liked at the start of the season or start of the game cycle that just don't feel the same now, so... We'll figure something out about that, but right now I'm just going to, you know, just just move on and see what happens in the future. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.